everyone, welcome back to Karis and Olives. My name is Brittany, and today I am changing it up. I'm doing more of a face to face with you guys. I will be doing a top down as well, but today's video is about some leather samples from Vanderspeck. So, if you don't know already, I'm always on the lookout for something different when it comes to leathers, and I have happened to hear more about Vanderspeck through a lot of uh, more of the ring community when I was you know uh, dabbling in the rings so um, I did place an order already with Vanderspeck and then I realized that they had like samples and I was like hell yeah I need to get some samples so I've been thinking about placing another order and that's why I got the samples because I'm not sure if I want to go with the browns or if I want to go with more color I hope you guys aren't distracted by my background. I am in my office and I thought since I have a computer that can just fit me, why not do like a little intro face to face. So let me know what you guys think about that and then let's do a top down so you could see exactly what my samples look like and more of how they feel in the hand. Hopefully this will be very helpful for you, especially if you are new to Vanderspeck or maybe you wanted to try a notebook with a different leather that you're not used to. So let's go top down. Okay, so we are top down. I hope everything is in frame because I am filming this a little bit different. And let's get right into it. I'm not really sure what sample names I have. But I think I've seen only one other uh, leather sample video on Vanderspeck and the numbers are supposed to be on the back side of the leather. Yes. All right. I'm excited. Okay. So this is the first time I've received like leather samples I've actually paid for and ordered. Um, so you can see my color palette is a little dull because I'm not super interested in bright colors, more of the neutrals. So this first one here is called Cuyo Napa. And this is very soft. This reminds me of the Filofax, like squishiness. It feels pretty soft. It's pretty thin. Um, it almost reminds me of, yeah, Foxy Fix. This uh, spice leather. I mean, that has a different pebbling ish I mean you don't really feel pebbles but you can see it's kind of crackling in there and um, this this reminds me of the thinness of my denim foxy fix so I really I do like this one I like the way it feels next is 6204 Ooh, I don't know which one that is but this one feels I think this is the Acacia, Acacia leather. This one's really nice. It's grippy. It's hard to describe. This one's more smooth and uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna catch anything. But this one has that, it's almost like a Rowena's brand of her like her Yale and the black leather that she has. It almost feels like that. I really like this color. I like the texture. It's just, it feels good in the hand. It almost seems just as thin, if not a tad bit thinner than the Kukuyo Napa. But the, the color is really pretty. I think it's supposed to be like a gray brown color. That one might be a keeper. Okay, so next we have 104, which I'm not sure. This kind of reminds me of an Italian leather. And 
one. I'm gonna look it up right now. Okay, so 104 is actually Janet Leather Brown, and this leather feels more like leather to me. It's a little bit thicker. It seems like it's a little bit sturdier as well, and it has it has a smooth surface, but if it seems like you could probably feel, you can kind of feel the texture a little bit more than you can here. So this one does come with a 10% increase in price than the other leathers. Now this one is super smooth. This is 6202 and this is Co. Galato. It reminds me of just a chocolate brown. Very pretty leather. Very pretty. Oh, and it feels smooth too. It almost feels like it's almost grippy feeling. There's not really much texture. Uh, you don't really feel much texture. The leather is seems a little bit like this 6204, like these two. I feel like this is a really nice match. Okay, sorry, I'm getting all crazy here. Okay, so this is the Croco, and this one is the Torto Croco. But the color is Torto, and I don't like it very thin or the tortora sorry it's very thin and just seems really I don't know fake to me I don't know it's, it almost reminds me of like snake skin like the feeling of snake skin and I was on the verge of getting a notebook like this because a lot of people have this notebook uh, leather and I'm glad I got the sample because the feeling of it is not as luxurious as the previous samples here. Okay, next is, whoa, this one's really thick. This is the Tobac. Yeah, this is the TM Tobac, Tobac, Tobac. And it's way thicker than any of the other leathers. It's not squishy, and you can kind of feel a little bit of the texture in the leather. It's interesting. I don't know if I like the pebbling in this leather. It almost looks a little orangey to me than brown. And it's really bright, and I just feel like it's not, is it gonna scratch? I probably should have done that before. It doesn't seem like it's gonna scratch up. The other ones don't seem to scratch. Ooh, this one does. What is that? This was the Akasha. That one does scratch up. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I think I know what I like already. Not even like the chocolate brown doesn't really scratch up. But this one does, okay. All right, keep it going, let's move on. We have the black, and this is the noir, which is a pretty popular leather that I know I've seen a lot of them on Instagram. And it's a very classic look. It's a little bit pebbly, and you can definitely feel the texture of the pebbles in this leather. It is thicker, and I think this is made of buffalo hide, but it's nice. I mean, it's, it's nice feeling. Next is the ostrich, and this one is the light gray ostrich, which is, I just love how it looks in pictures. And the funny thing is that I think, yes, I got this in the black for my very first order, which I'm still waiting on. I think it's going to be here sometime next week, fingers crossed. And it feels all right. It's I, I like texture and I think this will be fun to have 
um, for my book but I don't think this will be something I will get all the time like I'm gonna have to I will definitely change that but it's I think it's worth having a notebook out of this because it's so unique okay so this is very thin leather and it does scratch up and I think this is the one I saw in the video on YouTube on leather samples and I just don't like it. It just seems very thin and blah to me. The color isn't that great in my opinion. It seems like it's desaturated, <laughs> um, like a muted brown. It does have the crackling. It's really soft and smooth and you don't feel any texture. It does mark up a little bit, but I feel like the leather's so thin, it's, it doesn't really spark joy to me. Okay, this is beautiful. This is amazing. And I wasn't sure, this is the Barbie leather. And I know a lot of people get the inside of their planners lined with this color, but I thought that this color looked a little bit brighter on the computer screen than it does in person. And it looks more like a skin tone, obviously not my skin tone, but it looks more of a skin tone or like a blush pink. And it has that grippy feel like the, like the brown, let me compare it, like this one, the Akasha. And I know a lot of people do pair these for the inside of their notebook. But this is so beautiful. I wish they, were, they can make like a, a folio out of this one because it just feels so nice. And this one. Maybe this will just be, this will be it. These two together. I know it seems kind of odd, but I could do the pink on the outside. Does it mark up? It kind of marks up a little bit. And then this color on the inside, or this color on the inside, that one's on the outside. Did I just say that? Or vice versa. Oh, I think I found my colors. These are kind of thin. They're about the same to me. And they have this feeling, like they feel smooth and kind of grippy. They're not like really shiny smooth and it oh, just, it really sparks joy. I like these two. These two are the ones I'm gonna go with. Okay, well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please make sure to give it a th my video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Did I do the back? I didn't do the back portions. Okay, so this one's really furry. And the other one is really furry, you can kind of tell. It's really soft and furry. The one I didn't like most, which was this one, it's unimpressive. And I mean, same with the, it's not really anything smooth or something you want to feel all the time, in my opinion. The noir is pretty soft very similar to the Akasha and the Barbie. Same with the Tabak, it's really soft and smooth. Totora is not really like, it's really flat and just thin. It almost reminds me of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's weird. It's just not really much to want to touch. This one, the dark brown, is also nice. It has that fuzzy feel. It's almost a little bit more soft than the Akasha and the Barbie. But you can see the hairs aren't as long as it is on here. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I did end up buying the samples because it really does Considering their prices, you want to get it right. And I feel I'm slightly disappointed, just a little bit, because I feel like I probably should have bought the leathers samples before I placed my first order. 
and even though I haven't received it yet, I'm just like, fingers crossed, I love it. Um, but I think I'm pretty confident in what I'm going to be purchasing next time around. Alright everyone, catch you next video.